this girl when I was 10 years old. And what I love most, she had so much soul. She was old school, and I was just a shorty never knew throughout my life. She was. Man, damn. Man, I'm hungry, dog. Oof. I gotta get something to eat. Hey, let's go cook up some shit, man. <laughs> Hey, what's good, people? It's your boy Jarrell here at Jarrell Fitness. Um, I was sitting around the crib. I got a little hungry. You know what I'm saying? A brother, you know, got to feed his stomach. You know what I'm saying? Trying to build some muscle. But um, I was just sitting around chilling. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cook me up something to eat real quick. So I just thought I'll share with you guys a quick little um, bodybuilding meal um, that, I, that won't take you long to make. Um, I'm pretty much making some, um, some healthy sloppy joe to very lean ground beef so this is a meal that you can actually eat the um you know give your body some good protein and everything like that so just go along for the ride all right i pretty much got started okay here's the pan right here you know um i got the ground beef in there i already pretty much browned it i put some onions in um that's about two that's about two pounds of ground beef um it's um 95% lean, 5% um, fat, so that's pretty good. You pretty much want to go with the leanest ground beef that you can find when it comes to ground beef. You don't want to get any of the stuff like the 70-30 that has all the fat in it. You know, even if you mess with like 80-20, you know, you can go ahead and like, you know, brown the ground beef and then at the end, just take it like your spoon and like put all the meat to the... To this side and then let all of the fat roll on that side and just scoop it out with a spoon and then throw it inside of like a um like a bowl or something like that you know to get the fat away from the meat um so anyway yeah i threw in some onions oh uh, um to the two pounds of ground beef all right and we had to cook all that together then i went ahead and i got sloppy joe sandwich okay you can kind of look at the label for this stuff Okay, um, what does it say here? I'll read it for you guys. It's kind of blurry right now. But anyway, it says, um, it says 35 calories. Um, that's like one gram of carb. You know, all of that good stuff. It got a lot of sodium in it. It's like 430 milligrams of sodium. So if you don't mind the sodium, this is pretty good. You can use this to mix with the ground beef, add a little flavor to it. You know, because nobody wants to just eat this plain ground beef all the time. So, so anyway, it it's two pounds, two pounds of ground beef with onions in it. Okay, and then you add two cans of this. I already poured one can on it, so go ahead and pour the second can. Okay, it goes real good. Okay, cool. All right, I'll go ahead and put that right there instead of throwing in the garbage. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and cook it up and mix it up, and um, I'll go from there, all right? Okay, guys, I'm back. Okay, I'm pretty much just mixing everything together right now. Got the fire on. Put it at, like, um, a medium-high, you know, flame. Okay, and just pretty much mix everything in right here. Stuff the boil a little bit. Now, this part right here only takes about, like, what, five minutes, okay? So, if you got like a little timer or something like that, you might want to just put the timer on. It's not really necessary. Just look at the clock, man, and just don't make things too difficult. Because it's an easy-ass meal to make, man. <laughs> you know, save yourself a little bit of money. I think each one of the cans of Slappy Joe costs maybe about a dollar, dollar, dollar and 25 cents to, for two cans. Okay. And um, the ground beef ran me about, um, about eight bucks. Okay, and that's two pounds of ground beef, and um, okay, that's um, all together two pounds of ground beef. That's about uh, thirty-six ounces, I believe, thirty-six ounces of meat. So if you look at it, for every 
for every three ounces of this ground beef, you're getting 23 grams of protein. So that's pretty damn good, you know? All right, so if you look at it that way, um, with something like this, you're looking at about, about 10 servings. Okay, another, about 10 servings. Another thing that I did forget to mention is that after you get through actually um, browning the ground beef and you throw the onions in and everything like that, after I actually strain out like the, the, the bad fat, like if you're messing with like the 80-20, I didn't have to strain it with this really, not too much, just a little bit because this is 95 um, five ground beef. Um, if you were messing with the 820, you drain the fatty grease out of it and put it into a bowl and put it to the side. I would like to go ahead and um, take some, some olive oil, some extra virgin olive oil, and then just take like a, tea, a tablespoon of it and then just pour it over the meat and then stir it around a little bit. So this doesn't take long at all. Okay, looks like we're all done right here as far as cooking the meat and everything, the sloppy joes right there. Okay, then um, we got a little bit of bread over here. Okay, about four slices of bread right here. Um, this is 100% um, whole wheat bread. Okay, whole grain, whole wheat. You know, that's what, that's what you should be, that's the type of bread that you should be using. Don't be using white bread or just regular wheat bread. Make sure it's whole and, um, wheat bread, one, 100%. About one spoon right here like this. This is about three ounces. You might want to take like a little bit more, three and a half or maybe four ounces. But that's about, that's about a good four ounces right here. Just one spoon, okay? And go ahead and just throw that on the bread. Then I'm going to go ahead and get another one because a brother kind of hungry right now. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit more than three ounces, but it's all good, man. You know, just play around with it, dog. You know, you ain't got to be skimpy with the food, you know, especially if you a guy, a skinny guy or a smaller guy that's just trying to, you know, let me just make that clear, you know. Some people may look at this video like, oh, this dude's making sloppy joe. What kind of shit is that? But the whole thing is there's a lot of guys out there that's small, you know, skinny or whatever. They just trying to bulk up and trying to add like some more, some more mass to their body. So they need those extra calories. And um, this isn't a, this is not a real fatty meal. You know, the the the, the meat is pretty much almost a hundred percent lean. It's ninety five percent lean. So this is a real good meat. You just gotta you can you can eat certain different types of foods that may sound unhealthy, but if you make it healthy. It's good for you. So got two sandwiches right it, there. I ain't got to show y'all how to do this. Y'all know this, baby. Let's go back to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches from back in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ain't no difference. And that's pretty much it, man. Okay. So there you go. Two Sloppy Joe sandwiches. You know what I'm saying? About 23 grams of protein. 23 grams of protein. Maybe less because, you know, when you cook it, you know, you kind of lose some of the different nutritional value from it and everything like that. So... I would say maybe about 20 grams of protein per sandwich or whatever. So just go ahead and roll with something like this. This is pretty good. This is what I do from time to time. And, um, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for viewing Jarrell Fitness. Peace. Once the man got to where he on to the native soda, if she got an energetic gimmick, then she can make money, and she did it like a dummy.